to another Ben E video. Okay, okay. Let's see, what do I have for you guys today? I'm going to do my very first ever wig review. Now, anyone who knows me knows I love a good protective style. Like, I love my natural hair, don't get me wrong, but my protective styles definitely get me through the year. Anyone with natural hair just knows that it takes so much time, work, and effort to make sure your natural hair is popping. And I'm here for all of it, but sometimes I just need a break, you know? Not... All my natural girls out there know sometimes you just need a break from your hair and you don't want to mess with it all the time like i don't always want my hands in my hair because i'm trying to let it grow so let's get into my wig okay so i ordered this lovely wig from amazon it came in a nice package um it was just in like a bag inside the bag it also came with two wig caps so oh two wig caps and it came with some eyelashes. Now, I never really use the eyelashes when they send them to me. However, I guess it's nice to have in the stash if you ever just need like a quick lash to just throw on. Although those lashes are always like, they're like going out lashes. They are not day to day lashes. But I really like that it came with two wig caps because usually it only comes with one. And I'm always the person that will buy everything they need and forget my wig cap. Let's go to pricing. So for number one, the pricing of this wig was nice. It's eight inches and I got it for $35. I'm not like the knower of all things wigs. I like reasonably priced wigs because I always got a ball on a budget. And I feel like if you balling on a budget, you wanna look good, you wanna feel good, but you don't wanna break your pockets. More of the reason to buy a $35 wig. So it's $35. You know, if you got Amazon Prime, you don't have to pay for shipping. I think with tax, it's like 37. So this wig is under $40. When I first took it out of the packaging, I'll show you guys what it looked like. But when I first took it out of the packaging, right off the bat, I noticed that it smells like regular hair. Like whenever you buy a wig, it, it, that's what it smells like. So it wasn't like a big, huge odor. But I was like, oh my God, this stinks. So it didn't have an odor. And it had like a nice, texture to it it was nice it was silky and smooth uh, what else i'm gonna show you the video so look here so you can see exactly what it looked like when i took it out it's eight inches so it's gonna be like a cute bob cut um it is a frontal so it goes from ear to ear it already comes with a middle part i'm not really a fan of middle part i might try it um before i get into like bleaching the knots and everything i just want you to just See the texture of when it first comes out it's actually really soft to be an Amazon wig like it's soft it moves it's not like stiff it smells like hair like how any other hair smells so I'm excited with my purchase um, I am gonna go through and I don't know if you can see that you see how the lace is I'm gonna go through and bleach the knots and give it a preliminary wash just so that it is fresh for when I put it in my head. I also am going to sew in an elastic band on the inside just to make sure it stays laid down and secure. Okay, so I washed it and I let it air dry for a bit and I also bleached the knots. So if you look now, I actually left the bleach on a little too long. That's my bad. But if you see, now you can tell that not all the knots are there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this so as you can see like it didn't look bad coming out of the package now in the video i did mention having to bleach the knots which i did um i accidentally bleached them too long i got in the shower and then i forgot that i was bleaching the knots on the wig so if you look and you can see that it's you got that tint when you bleach the knots too well so that's on me that's not on the maker of this wig but overall it's nice I usually sew an elastic band in my wigs, but this wig fits so tight. Like I pulled the, what's those things? You know, like the drawstrings that are in the inside of the wig. I pulled those like to the tightest one and it fit perfectly on my head. It washed really well. It didn't shed a lot. So yeah, I didn't have any problems of, I didn't have any problems with the application piece. I'm not the best wig layer slayer so if it looks bad don't judge me okay i'm i'm working on it you know they say everything comes with time i'm gonna get better i'm gonna get better but i don't think that it looks like 
on my gum, but is that on your head? Like, I don't think it looks like that. If it does, please be nice to me in the comments, okay? I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Overall, the only con I would say is I feel like it's really thin, like, flat to my head. Now, I did braid my hair underneath. It doesn't look lumpy. I only did, like, six chunky braids of living life on the edge. But it doesn't look lumpy it lays really well it parts really well so when i bought it it had a middle part and i don't really like middle parts so i did do a side part and it did lay really well with that i flat ironed it because i had to bleach the knots and then after i bleached the knots i washed it blow dried it and flat ironed it and it flat ironed fine it still has that nice texture that it had when i took it out i've only had it on for a about two days so it's not like stale or stiff or anything and it shouldn't be if i only had it on for two days right but overall i would say i would definitely buy this again you know i don't know if you guys want to know anything else about it i didn't diet or anything like that but if we are talking like oh i need my hair done in the next two days and I want to ball on a budget, I would definitely recommend this wig. I would want it to be like a tad bit thicker because I feel like it's on my face and then it's like, I don't want it to be like, look like slick down. Like, I don't want it to look like that. But overall, like, I love it. Like, tell me what you think in the comments. Um, this is my first ever wig review. So I hope I didn't really leave anything out. I tell you about price, texture, overall feel and look. And I love it. Again, this is an eight inch wig from Amazon. I'm going to link this wig down in the description box. So if you want to check it out for yourself and see if it's something that's up your alley, please do so. This is not a sponsored video. I'm not getting paid for this. I just like to try products out and see how they work for me. Again, for all my girls balling on a budget, if you are balling on a budget, get you a nice little wig from Amazon. For it to be a wig from Amazon, for under $40, I just can't complain. Like, I can't complain at all. I like it. Let me know if you like it in the comments. If you have any other places that you get your wigs from that are good, that are decently priced, let me know. And that is my review. Just let me know what you think, okay? As always, Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you already did subscribe, tell a friend to subscribe and tell that friend to tell a friend to subscribe. If there's any videos that you guys would like to see from me, make sure you let me know. Like, I'm always down for suggestions. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.